Hey everyone, so since I posted my you know pictures and videos about my rig, my complete rig with the RS uh, Ultimate from eRacing Lab, um, I've been getting a lot of requests to share my measurements and to share the schematics uh, of my build. And I decided to do this video, hopefully it will help everyone who's planning to do the build. There's a lot of gotchas, there's a lot of things that you need to be careful and consider while building this. So I just wanna make sure that this video is gonna help you um, and save you a lot of time and all of the hassle that I had to go through. And uh, hopefully you have a very, very good and complete build. So please, if you like this video, uh, like it, um, and subscribe to my channel so I can do more of those videos. And please share it with someone who know, who you know that will be going through the same thing and installing the RS Ultimate. Um, what I wanna do is I wanna break down um, my, my build into the actual, my actual rig, which is the TR160 uh, by Track Racer. And I'm gonna go into the surge frame and then I'm gonna go into the top traction loss frame. I'm gonna go into the bottom um, traction loss frame and I go as much details as I can uh, with the measurements. And also I'm gonna share some tips um, while you're installing this. So please, if you have any questions or I'm missing something, please leave a comment and I'll be able to address it. So the first thing we're gonna go over is the TR160 frame. So TR160 frame, um, you know, there's not, not much to it, it's just, um, it's the length of it is 55 inches and the width is about 19 of 58. So that's what I have. I have, you know, 55 inches of the length and 19 of 58. So this is your rig. You can't really modify it. You can't do anything with it. So you're stuck with 55 and 19 of 58. Now, based on the TR160 frame, I built my surge frame. So the first thing that you build is the surge. Do not build the, tra uh, the traction loss build the surge first because you need to build the surge and you need to put the actuators and then based on the placement of the actuators you'll, you'll know where you know how to build the traction loss frame uh frame so for the surge frame i decided to keep it the same length as the tr160 frame so it is 55 inches in length and also 19 and 5 8 uh, for the width um now if you know for, you know if you remember for the surge frame you there's the um there's the, an actuator that will need to go towards the back and there are two uh aluminum extrusions that have to go towards the back each of those is about eight inches so you see one is connected this way and the one is connected the, to, from the from the other side and it's eight inches each now again uh build the surge first and then it's easy for you to determine uh, what the sizes of these two uh, aluminum extrusions are. So, uh, like I said, so eight inches from this in, from this side and eight inches from this side, and you need to leave a gap in the middle so you can connect your actuator. Um, and from the back of the surge frame, from the back, you have 15.5 inches to where you start the placement of these two uh, aluminum extrusions that will hold the actuator in place. Um, so 15.5 inches from the back of the rig, not from the front, from the back of the rig. Um, that should take care of your surge platform. Now, in, 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 my, in, in my case, um, I built the surge. All of those pieces that you see here are actually a four, 40 by 80. So all of those are 40 by 80 pieces. Uh, even the ones in here are 40 by 80, 40 by 80. The whole thing is made up of 40 by 80 pieces. Okay, so these are the measurements for the surge. Now, once you're done with the surge, um, let's go over the placement of the actuators on the surge. Okay, so we're moving on to the placement of the actuators on the surge frame. It's very, very important because this will determine how you're gonna be building the um, traction loss frame. All right, so this is, you know, you're looking at my surge from the side. So imagine this is the rig and you're looking at it from sideways. Um, this is here is the front of the um, surge frame. And like I said, this one here is a 40 by 80. Uh, aluminum extrusion. So from the front of the rig, the first actuator is placed at 21 
0.5 inches. And that is from the edge, all the way to the edge of the uh, frame to the beginning of the surge. Uh, sorry, to the beginning of the actuator, to the front of the actuator. That is 21.5. The actuator on the back is placed all the way to the end of the um, surge. So you have the, you, you, uh, yeah, you have the um, actuator and it has this bracket that mounts. So the edge of the bracket, the edge of the um, left bracket is actually is at the edge of the uh, surge frame. And the distance from the rear edge of the rear uh, actuator to the front edge of the front actuator is 33 inches. So from the rear of the actuator to the front of the front actuator, like you see here, is 33 inches. And you do the same placement on the other side of the uh, surge uh, frame. So hopefully this, this helps you at least be between the TR160 and the search frame, the framework. This should get you about, you know, let's say 50% of the way there. Okay, let's move on to the uh, top uh, traction loss uh, profile. Uh, the, uh, the, I built mine, um, these two pieces right here uh, on the edge, the two vertical pieces on the edge are 40 by 120, this one and this one. And the pieces, the horizontal pieces that are going across are 40 by 80. Here are the measurements. Um, this, the, um, the vertical uh, 40 by 120s, they're 31 inches in length. So from the edge to the edge, we have 31 inches. Now, both are 31 inches. Now the placement of the horizontal 40 by 80s, I started about eight and a half to nine inches from the top of the, um, of the vertical um, uh, profiles. So from here to the beginning, from the edge to the beginning of the first um, horizontal uh, 40 by 80 is about eight and a half end line. The same thing from the bottom, from the edge to the beginning of the profile uh, of the ex aluminum extrusion is about also but between eight and a half and a nine uh, inches. And you see this is the gap right here that you have is where you put your cups for the actuators to actually lean on uh, right here in the corners. Um, the distance between uh, from end to end from all the way from the from the from here to here is 34.5 inches. So that's how, well, that's the length of the top uh, traction loss uh, framework. From end to end is 34.5. Okay, now we can move on to the bottom traction loss framework. Um, so this is how the end design, you know, will look like. This is the back of it. This is the front. So the back piece, I have two 40 by 80s connected together or you can do with 140 by 60. I just couldn't find the 40 by uh, 160 material, so I decided to go with 240 by 80s. Um, it's not, you know, you know don't, don't think it's always, oh, it's a problem connecting them together, no. There's this big black plate that you're gonna get with the uh, RS Ultimate, and this by itself will hold these two pieces together. So do not worry about connecting them together. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Now, um, the length, this is the length of the um, uh, aluminum extrusion, the, the, the rear piece. It's 51 inches. It's all 51 inches. From here to here is 51 inches. Again, this is the back of it. 51 inches. And you have two 40 by 80s. These vertical ones right here that you see. These are two 40 by 80s. And the length of each is 36 inches. And remember, those are not going to sit on top of the um, 40 by 80 or 41 by 60 at the bottom, the bottom uh, um, profile right here. They will start at the edge right here and connect. So from the, the, the front of it all the way to, to where it connects to the um, back, back frame 
is 36 inches each. And again, those are, like I mentioned, 40 by 80s. Um, now, there is two profiles between the two vertical 40 by 80s. And those, again, it can either be a 40 by 160, one piece, and one 40 by 60 here, or it can be two 40 by 80s here and two 40 by 80s here. It's, you know, if you have the 40 by 160, just go for it. Now, from the back, from the, um, from the back of the frame, which is this piece right here, to where the first 40 by 160 or 240 by 80 goals, the, there's eight, the, the gap between it is 8.5 inches. And again, that is edge to edge, 8.5 inches. From the front of it, the other 40, uh, 40 by 160 piece or the 240 by 80s, it's from the front, it's four inches. Now, the placement of these uh, two, 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 two pieces is about 10 inches from the side. This is where they start. 10 inches from each side of the back of the, uh, of the, of the profile. And if you look here, this, this piece here that is closer to the end, this is where your actuator, right here, this is where your actuator is gonna sit. So this is right here is the right, and this is the left of your platform. So the actual actuator will sit here. This, this is the, the pull bar of the actuator. So this is the pull bar, this is the actuator right here, and this is the pull bar of the actuator. The edge of the, 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 edge of the pull bar is sitting about seven inches away from this vertical uh, profile. And that should cover the bottom uh, TL frame. And then of course, you're gonna be getting these uh, plates, the metal plates. You're gonna have a metal plate here. And you're gonna have a metal plate here. And in my case, those metal plates started all the way from the edge. So you start putting the metal plates from the edge. So I wouldn't worry about any measurements here because they will go from the edge. And again, you also have the um, front, front plates, which in, in my case, they start, they don't start from the edge, from the, um, from the beginning right here. In my case, they started about three inches from the front. So there's a three inch gap from the front and then the vertical place will go in. All right, guys, hopefully this video was actually helpful to you. Um, like again, please like it, share it and subscribe. Um, if you find my channel helpful and please leave a comment if you have any additional questions any guidance anything that you need you want to share some pictures with me to make sure everything is going well with your build uh, feel free to do so and uh, yeah and what else do I need to go over I think that should should cover at least building the platform with all the right measurements that we have here um, yeah thank you guys